even the GP was like, oh, it's, it's nothing, don't stress, it's, it's just a little skin tag. I was like, okay, cool, no dramas. We'll scrape it off into a biopsy anyway, and um, yeah, scraped it off, called me back two days later, and was just like, mate, it's actually a um, really aggressive melanoma. Um, we need to get it in, we need to get you, get it surgically removed at SAP. <coughs> I was, it's fucking hectic. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think no one in the world ever wants to hear those words, and I suppose especially if I can say that in quotation marks at the age of 24. 24, yeah. You know, what, what was that like to, to hear that? Your whole world comes crashing down. Um, it, it, it really does. Um, you know, everything you, you are, you're in a state of shock and you go through the, the stages of grief and it's, you know, denial initially and you, you laugh it off. And again, for a period of time there, from diagnosis to probably a couple of months later, I still didn't take it that seriously. Yeah. At that point in time, or at that time, there was a, you know, and again, going back to it, you, you do, you never think it's you and the doctors said, um, you know, mate, there's there's probably about a five percent chance that it's um that it that it's spread to your lymph node. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'll take that every day of the week. And um, yeah, they removed the uh, so went in for day surgery, removed the melanoma, and then removed the lymph node. Did a biopsy of the lymph node, and then um, came back yeah a few days later that um, or about a week and a half later. That week and a half is probably the longest week <laughs> of my life. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and then it, it came back that yeah, the biopsy was positive, and that's uh, that the biopsy of the the lymph node yeah had had cancerous cells in it as well. And then for me, that's when it was like, fuck. fuck. If there's a five percent chance that yeah. it's going to do that, and you, yeah, you're the five percent now, not yeah. the ninety-five percent. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's a short-term pleasure, but it doesn't doesn't give you any fulfillment. It doesn't give you any happiness or anything like that. Like. It's, um, yeah, I mean, talking, talking rugby, I'd say, you know, there are a, a large number of people, it may not even be in rugby, it'd just be in sporting clubs, local sporting clubs generally, um, who, yeah, are in that position and, and they do and, and they, they go and just crank it on the weekends and then they don't give themselves any time to really just self-reflect and think about anything because they're working or they're studying or they're doing whatever. It's just take that step back and, and, and have a think about why you are doing the things that you're doing. Mm. We're taught to be busy. You are, yeah, and that's a thing. You go, oh, mate, how you going? You're your mates. I caught up with a mate earlier. Mate, how you going? Yeah, man, really good, really good, I'm, I'm really busy. Okay, mm. like is that? Do you want to be busy? Why is that good, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it, it's mind boggling. And you know, people just don't, it's not as though they don't know any better, they just don't know any different, really. Mm.